Now, the governor thanked protesters across the state for remaining peaceful last night, but said the state is still on guard for any violence. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch joins us live from the capital city tonight. Connor, it's been pretty quiet there. Deb Lucas, it has been pretty quiet here in the capital city like it was last night. I was here. There was a small group of maybe 15 protesters at the Columbia or at the excuse me, Jefferson City Police Department last night. And even tonight, I've seen a reduced number of uh, police officers kind of circling the area like I saw last night. But Governor Mike Parsons said today that he agrees that with the protests, but he, and he's trying to curb that pro, those that those violence at that protest, but he's also asking what's next. I, I, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to make a plan in place for legal protesters and to separate those from the criminals that are out there committing crime. While there are over 1,000 active duty National Guard troops in place right now, Parson said in the next day or two, there will be about 1,500 to 2,000 with boots on the ground or being activated across the state. He said those troops are mobile and can go wherever they are needed in the state to assist local agencies in highway patrol. The Guard's present means more law enforcement officers are available to respond to protest and any potential criminal activities. But the governor has also been in talks with activists and local leaders across the state to start the conversation about change. Today, he was in Columbia with local clergy, law enforcement, and government leaders to talk about what changes they think need to happen on local and state levels. And what are we going to do in the future to change the system? And I think it's why it's important to have these meetings. It's why it's important to meet with the African-American community right now and try to not only say, yes, we know there's a problem, but what are we going to do for the end game? And Parcel, Parson also mentioned that the federal government is requesting the Missouri National Guard uh, send some troops to Washington, D.C. And Parson said that he would send those troops there because politics aside, protecting the nation's history is important to him. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News.